This Motorola and EF Johnson 700 MHz radio training is provided to you by the Department of Health and Hospitals, Office of Public Health, Center for Community Preparedness. As part of the Department of Health and Hospitals Emergency Operations Center radio group, this tutorial has been prepared exclusively for you as part one of the 700 MHz radio training series. The series will provide explanations for each function in a step-by-step -step guiding process specifically designed for easy comprehension and implementation. However, for in-depth system or radio information, you should consult your region's Office of Public Health Emergency Response Coordinator or the Center for Community Preparedness Tactical Communications Officer. As a reminder, this training is specific to Motorola XTS 2500 series and EF Johnson 5100 series radios. It is advised that you participate in this training using your radio so that you may become more familiar with it. Part 1 of the radio training series is to provide you with an overview and introduction to your radio. We will begin with an overview of the Motorola radio. The on-off volume knob is located to the left of the control top. To turn the radio on, turn the on-off volume control knob clockwise. To turn the radio off, turn the on-off volume control knob counterclockwise until it clicks. The 16 position select knob is also and more commonly known as the channel mode select knob. To select a channel, turn the channel mode select knob to the desired position. The name of the channel will appear on the menu display. The antenna receptacle is located to the right of the control top. The LED status light is the last important feature of the control top. The LED status light will appear either red or green while the radio is on. If poor light conditions make the menu display or keypad difficult to read, you can turn on the radio's backlights by pressing the light button on the side of the radio. These lights will remain on for a pre-programmed time before they turn off, or you can manually turn them off by pressing the light button again. The push to talk button is the largest of the side buttons. To transmit communications, press and hold the push to talk button. Release the push to talk button to receive communications. Side buttons 1 and 2 may be programmed for different operations. The side button may be programmed as a site search button and in that mode you can view the number of the current site or you can force your radio to change to a new one. If your radio is programmed to receive private line calls, a side button will enable the monitor feature. Also known as talk around operation, a side button may be programmed as a direct button which lets you bypass the repeater and connect directly to another radio. The menu and keypad options will vary. Most radios owned by the Center for Community Preparedness do not have the keypad option. The display shows status symbols and menu options. The four-way navigation button allows you to easily scroll through menu options. The three buttons located directly below the display allow you to select the corresponding menu option located directly above the button on the display. The home button, when selected, will return you to the main menu on the display. The state currently has several models of the EF Johnson 5100 series radio. Yours may be similar to one of the ones presented on the screen. The on-off volume adjust knob is located to the left of the control top. Rotate the knob to set the volume level. It is recommended that the best setting is with the white line straight back. The channel switch can be rotated to select channels 1 through 16. The channel you select will appear on the display. The antenna connector is located to the right of the control top. The multifunction indicator will appear either red or green while the radio is on. The push to talk button is the largest of the side buttons. Press and hold the button to talk and release to listen or hear. The menu and keypad options will vary. Most radios owned by the Center for Community Preparedness have limited keypad options. The display shows status symbols and menu options. The up-down switch allows you to easily scroll through menu options. The switch is also known as the zone select. To see current zone, press the switch once. 
You may continue to press up or down to scroll through all program zones. Option keys F1 and F2 are used within the menu. To exit or back out of an option, press 1 or the exit menu key. To select or enable a menu option, press F2 or the enter menu key. The microphone is a small hole located to the top left of the keypad. The sensitivity is set to the second highest level and does not need to be directly spoken into. The speaker is located at the bottom of the keypad. The volume of the speaker is controlled by the power on off volume adjustment knob on the control top. The status of your Motorola radio will be given to you by multiple modes. These are status symbols that appear on the display. LED status lights that appear solid or flashing, red or green, and status alert tones. A table of the status symbols that will appear on your display is provided here for you. The status of your EF Johnson radio can be determined by icons that appear on the radio display. Various alert tones are programmed into the radio and can be turned on and off by selecting the alert tone option from the menu parameter. A table of the status icons that will appear on your display is provided here for you. Motorola radios come with parts and optional accessories. We will take a moment to review the proper installation and removal procedures for a few of those items. To install the antenna, screw the antenna clockwise into the antenna receptacle on the radio control top. Tighten the antenna firmly with your fingers. To remove the antenna, unscrew the antenna counterclockwise and remove it from the antenna receptacle on the control top. To install the battery, first ensure the radio is off. Align the three tabs at the bottom of the battery with the three slots at the bottom of the back of the radio. Angle the battery forward toward the radio until the battery clicks into place. To remove the battery, turn the radio off. Holding the radio in one hand, push down on the battery release slides on both sides of the battery with the other hand. Angle the battery away from the radio and remove. The universal connector cover protects the side connector near the antenna. If you have a boom mic, this is where it would be installed. To remove the cover, turn the radio off. Carefully insert a flat bladed screwdriver between the bottom of the cover and the connector. Holding the top of the cover with your thumb, push the screwdriver gently downward and lever the cover away from the radio. To install the cover, the radio must also be off. Insert the hooked end of the cover into the slot above the connector. Rub the ball of your thumb from the top to the bottom of the cover, applying pressure towards the radio. This will flex the cover and snap it into place. Remove the battery from the radio before installing or removing a belt clip. Hold the battery with the back of the battery facing you. Hold the belt clip with the top facing upward and align the clip with the slots on the battery back. Slide the belt clip downward into the slots until it clicks into place. To remove the belt clip, pull away the metal tab at the top of the battery clip from the battery. Slide the clip upward until it comes away from the radio. Battery removal and installation on the EF Johnson radio is done by means of the battery release button. To remove the battery from the radio for recharging or replacement, press the release button and then raise it upward to the approximate point shown in the diagram and remove it from the radio. Thank you for your participation in this training of the Motorola and EF Johnson 700 MHz radio. You may forward this training onto any radio user in your group that you deem appropriate. If you have any questions or need assistance with your radio, please let me know. All of my contact information is provided here for you. Again, thank you for being part of the DHH Emergency Operations Center radio group.